Awesome. 181, 179. Is that good? Yeah, anything under 200 is good. Normally, a fast draw competition would involve a pistol and a lot of loud bangs. It did last year at the BC Rodden Gun Show in Surrey, but this year, the show is missing something. We were told that it sent the wrong message, and we did not get a clear answer of what that message was. We still have. The show was almost cancelled completely when Surrey Council wouldn't approve the permit, saying organizers were too late filing a security plan with the RCMP. On Monday night, the security plan had yet to be reviewed by the uh, local RCMP, so until that portion of it is complete, it remains uh, an application in process. A compromise was reached. No handguns or ammunition allowed at the show. But those taking part say they feel like the city made that move in response to the more than 30 shootings this year alone, many gang-related. Something they say has nothing to do with law-abiding gun owners. We feel picked on. But yeah, it's very unfair. It was a sneaky move they made on this particular meeting. Do we see gangsters in here? To lay the blame on a bunch of avid hunters and sportsmen and shooters that we toe the line, we obey the law. Along with knives, this table was also filled with antique guns last year, now banned. Legally, an antique pistol is not even a gun. It's as antique as a candlestick or a desk. This is a, uh, a non-restricted uh, Mossberg shotgun. Paul Baker owns a store about 10 minutes from the Rodden Gun Show where he sells handguns and ammunition. He too wonders why neither is allowed here. It seems to be penalizing the wrong people, so that's my opinion of it. Is if they would actually go after the people that are causing the problems, maybe the rest of us who are law-abiding people wouldn't have a problem. Organizers say attendance is down, even though many are still taking part in what is billed as a family-friendly event. A petition calling for the return of handguns and bullets next year will be delivered to Surrey Council once the show wraps up. Jill Bennett, Global News.